In this video number three about Simbra calendar synchronization, we are going through how to set up sync between an Android and Simbra dash Outlook. So this is the third video. Before we start, I want to go through the requirements. You need to have access to an Android phone with access to Google Store. That's where you download uh, applications and apps. Two, we need to purchase the app called Dav X5 and install it. It's around five pounds. There are other free alternatives and you can look for it yourself, but this is very, very simple. And you can also integrate a lot of other synchronization that might help you from day to day. The third thing is you need a shared calendar URL uh, from Simbra, and we already have gone through what that is. And the fourth is the username and password to your Simbra webmail. So without further ado, let's demonstrate how we do this synchronization. I'm now logged into my phone and we are going to uh, download and install the software. First of all, you go to uh, Play Store, Google Play Store, and let's search for the application that you need. So it's called DAV5X. As I've already installed it and purchased it, it's already installed on my uh, phone. But normally here you will click on download and then it will ask you if you're okay, that you have to pay five pounds for this. You say okay. And uh, it's done already like that because your payment is already authorized by Google Play. So you download this application and you install it and then you open it. As soon as it's open, this is what you see. It's a welcome screen. And the first thing we want to do is to add a, a, a synchronization. So we click on the plus sign. On this screen, we say login with URL and username. And here we have the three options where we have to write in the URL for our calendar, our username and password. So what I have done is to send myself an email where I have put in the URL. So I will copy this link address. I'll go back into my application and I will paste that in here. So that's the address already sorted. Then it's the username and that will be my email. And then we have the password and I'm going to type that in here. Everything has now been typed in uh, and I'm ready to log in. It says create an account and I get an account name and that's the one I want. Uh, everything else is okay. And I click create account. Now my sync account has been created. So if I now click on this, I will see the, the uh, different options that I have. And I have uh, three tabs up here, car, DAV, that has to do with contacts, and you can also synchronize this down into your contact list on your phone, but that's not covered in this video, but it's straightforward. CalDAV is your calendar, and straight away, it can see that I have four calendars um, in my system. Uh, some shared calendars up here, and I know that my calendar is this one that is called calendar, Morton Abrahamson's calendar. So this is the only one that I want to activate when I'm going to sync my calendar with my calendar on Simbra. So that's basically me done the setup. So before I exit uh, from uh, this application, I need to click this synchronize once for it to import this calendar entry into my Android calendar. That should now have been done. So I can close this app 
and in principle I never have to open it again. You can do manual synchronization, but I think it's synchronized every 10 or 15 minutes, and I'm sure within the application there are also settings for how often it should synchronize. But that you can explore on yourself. Now I'll go into my calendar. And on the September 23rd, I'm going to add an event. Add it from Android. And here is the important thing. So which calendar are you saving this to? Well, I could save it to my local calendars or any other Google calendar or whatever I have set up of synchronization. But this is the calendar, calendar Morton Caroni. This is the calendar, it's my Simbra calendar. So I am happy and I save it. So I now have access to this in my uh, calendar on my Android. So I'm happy about that. So uh, what I will do now, instead of waiting 10, 15 minutes for the synchronization, I'll do a manual synchronization here. So I can jump over to Simbra and see how it looks. I'm now logged into my Simbra webmail and very correctly, I can see that I have added uh, on the 23rd, a record for my, from my Android phone and it's visible here. Now I'll check my Outlook. Here is my Outlook calendar. And instead of waiting the 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to click synchronization now. Then I'm going to go to my September entries and I can see here that it has been added. Uh, I think, I'm not sure why it has been added twice. It might be because it has come from my Android uh, to Simbra and further down. Uh, I've seen it in some occasion, but uh, not very often. So uh, in this sense, you could uh, just delete one of them if it was. That's how it worked. So the 24th, I will now add an entry uh, from Outlook, the 24th. I'll write a description, made in Outlook, and I'm saving this. So this is the 24th of September. Again, I'll do a manual sync, so I don't have to wait and I will pop back into my Simbra. Here I have my Simbra and uh, it says here from Outlook the 24th. Again, I see there is a double record for some reason. I am not sure why that happens, but uh, the synchronization works okay. So if I now go back to my Android phone, and I log in. in. I'm just going to force the synchronization to not wait those 10 minutes. Next time I open my calendar, I will see I have got a record here, the 24th, which it has been synced from Outlook into Simbra and Simbra down here. So in this way, uh, we, no matter where we enter the record, it's visible everywhere. And as I've seen, sometimes it comes double. I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, it might be that it just solves itself, or it might be because it did a synchronization and then I forced the synchronization. So maybe it's because of that. I'm not sure. But this is how you do all the setup. Uh, and uh, be aware of one thing. All this synchronization might stop working if you change the password of your email. And if you change the password of your email, you will need to go in here and you will need to go into your account and then you will have to change the password to the correct password on your account. This is everywhere where the synchronization stop. The first thing you should think about is, have I changed my password? And then you change it everywhere. So that was the third video on how to synchronize between Android and Simbra and Outlook. Uh, so give it a go and try it out and see how it works for you. In the fourth video, 
I will uh, talk a little bit about how to synchronize it to an iPhone or an iPad. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a, a device myself with a screen recording software. So it's going to be more screenshots and talk through how to do it. I see you in the fourth video.